I just feel so expensive right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel like a bougie rich white woman. It's my first Ulta haul. Not that I've, not that I already didn't buy exorbitant amounts of makeup, but it's the first time I bought makeup in mass. Just wanted to feel like the rich white woman I'm pretending to be today. You know what I really feel like? Do you know who Rich Lux is? So Rich Lux is like a, a drama commentator on like, on, on the YouTubes, and he's always wearing like a fur coat or something. <laughs> he really? Yeah. And so he's got, he's got a fan. He's like, he'll be like, hi everybody, it's Rich Lux here, and today, this video, you won't believe the drama. He's always got that fan and clacks it uh -huh. like, at the beginning of every video. So that's how I feel with the glasses. All I need is that that, that white cheek paint. I'm good. Ooh, Grandmama, it's, it's me, Anastasia. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are hot under the studio I lights. I don't like wearing clothes. I don't like it. Oh hi, Marcy. I definitely I should do more YouTube videos like just in sunglasses though. This is a look. I feel cute. Mm. Nothing but my sunglasses. Won't that make it hard to do the makeup? Oh yeah. yeah. Damn. Just for Instagram then. You can always do this thing. The, the, oh the... bitch, it's bright. <laughs> I'm just too fabulous for this world, I guess. Sunglasses and I just weren't meant to be. So we picked up a few things from the Ulta today. Oh, this is just because I wanted it. It's just, a, that's, that's not. <laughs> this isn't fun. Well, it's not that it's not fun. I, I I ran out of my Wet n Wild foundation and I wanted to try another super cheap foundation, so I got the e.l.f. foundation. This is not going to make it into today's video because I decided to go and be a bougie, expensive white woman and buy the, <laughs> the Urban Decay All Nighter uh, foundation. This is the first, like, honestly, like, aside from, like, uh, like, creams, I've never bought an expensive liquid foundation before. So I'm excited to see if liquid foundation that's prestige is worth the hype. Because if it's not, I'm going to throw a fucking fit because this is like $40. At least it's a lot for what you pay for. It's only one, one, one fluid ounce. Really? Yeah. It's just a huge bottle. Oh. It's the exact same amount of product that you get from like a $6 foundation. Well, I feel cheated. Uh, right. But I'm like, if the product itself is better, then I'm okay. Right. I got the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the lightest shade possible because I'm pale as fuck. I got me the NYX Contour Palette because I wanted a contour palette. I usually just use pressed powder foundations because I'm a cheap hoe. Um, and I couldn't find a contour palette with dark enough tones. Like all of them were made for like, that were at the Ulta were like for very white people. Yeah. And I was like, there's no like medium or dark contour palettes available mm -hmm. except for with NYX. And I know that I've said a million times that I'm trying hard to get away from NYX, but it just, it's just impossible for me. <laughs> I don't know why their products are so appealing to me. They have a lot of colors and they work well. So just yeah. like deal with it. And the last thing I got was the Their Real uh, Benefit Mascara. As you guys probably remember, probably have seen it a few times, I used the Bang, I've had the Bang Lash by Benefit. I got this one. Uh, we get the small ones, cause like, I never will make it through a full tube of mascara before it, it gets like chunky and gross and bad. So it's like, I can't use a full tube of mascara in six months. I just can't. Yeah, I, I never used a full tube of mascara I don't in understand how people do it. Like, even when I was doing color guards, I didn't, I didn't make it through. I don't understand that people do it. Like, how do you how do you make it through a full tube of mascara? Like, do you just apply multiple times a day? Maybe they're putting on more than we do. Cause you and I both have dark lashes. Yeah. So, like, I I'm like I'm trying to figure it out. Like, do you put on like four or five coats? Do you put it on multiple times a day? Tell me your secret. How if you if you actually make it through a full tube of mascara in like the six month lifespan that they have? Uh, tell me how. Tell us what we're doing wrong. Or do you just like throw your mascara away? Or do you do, or do you not throw your mascara? Do you keep mascara tubes for years? Oh, are you that kind of a person? Um, Cause we throw them away once they start to get like dry. Cause it's just not a good product anymore. I don't want to feel pretty. 
I'll do the not fun thing first. I got surprise fit press powder because I was out and I like it. In my press powder and blush bucket here, I have tons and tons and tons of the Fit Me powders by Maybelline. Um, I, there's like six in there. They're, I mean, they're good, they're reliable, and sometimes it's fun to just pick something you know works. Well, it's like, it's not just that, but for the price you pay for it, they are just as good as like prestige foundations. They're very, very good. They blend instantly and they have great coverage. Um, I just, I, I've tried really hard to get away from them. That's why I wanted a contour palette because I use them consistently and I cannot get away from them. And I tried so hard, but like every time I buy like, uh, like something else, I end up just not using it because I just go back to the Fit Me. So hopefully NYX doesn't let me down with this $25 palette. So... I got uh, the Roller Lash from Benefit, and we're gonna see how this turns out. Looks cute, I like it. We'll see. And I also got the, is it Makeup Revolution? Yes. yes. The Makeup Revolution um, Oil Control Finishing Spray, right? Yeah. Fixing Spray. Fixing Spray, yeah. Um, Pro Fix, because so there's two Makeup Revolution things. That I'm excited for Makeup Revolution. They kind of just like have kind of like really came into the spotlight recently. Ooh, what's my other thing? What's your thing? Oh, that's in your Target bag. That's not from Ulta. Where but go that? get that. It's downstairs probably. Okay. Oh, that's another new thing that happened. If okay. you don't follow if you don't follow me on Instagram or on the Facebook, or if you just follow me on Twitter and YouTube, you wouldn't know this. But I just got my tattoo filled in right here. So that's important information for those of you who have been following me for long enough on YouTube. You will know that my tattoo artist, this is a story time I did here on YouTube, um, gave up on having a normal human life and lives in a yurt in the woods or something. Um, so he's just kind of living his best life or whatever. I don't know. So he disappeared. And so my friend, Stitch Asylum, who is a tattoo artist, filled this one in for me. Uh, God bless her. But also... Moving on to the more of the Tattoo Chronicles, I just got an owl! And she, she killed this. This is so good. I love it. I feel pretty. Uh, and the owl was actually designed by... Uh, me, for more of my art, I do a lot of tattoo style black and white art. Please follow me at Luna Rosa Official um, on Instagram. So... Oh yeah. Let's talk about that. Uh, so I have tried Sonia Kashuk Blending Beauty Blenders, Blending Beauty Blenders, <laughs> Blender Beauty, Blender Beauties, um, before, and uh, with limited amounts of success, my last one I I, I destroyed. Her and I have had very different experiences. Yeah. Um, I use this particular one, which is from Sonia Kashuk. Uh, and the only reason I replaced this one with a new one was because I'd had that one for a very, very, very long time and it had gotten liquid latex in it. So I needed a new one. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I bought a new one. That's the only reason I bought a new one. It's totally fine. But if you want to show them yours. Yeah, let me. Don't be. It's supposed to be black it's and white. It's supposed to be black and white. It's, it's getting ready to be thrown out, so we're not washing it again. Um, <laughs> but the issue here is that it just felt the like then. the more I used it, I don't know if you all can see it, but it just started splitting. Let me see. Um, Let where me see if I can get it to show up on camera. Where the where the different colors oh, started oh yeah, to come up. Right yeah. there. So right there is that it started splitting. Um, and I don't know if this is operator error. It could totally be operator error. It's probably. Okay, you can see it right there, really well, where it was splitting. Yeah. Um, but it just kind of started to go to, to crap. Yeah, it's like right where all the seams are between the black and white. Yeah. Uh, it's it's like peeling. It's like 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 an onion almost. It's weird. Yeah. It it just looks like. Did not have that experience with this one. They weren't properly fused. Don't know what happened with that. And I would say it was me, except for it's perfectly falling apart along the fault lines of the colors. So that's a, a little, little weird. Odd. Yeah. However, that's why you're trying the gray ones, because I've not had that experience with the gray ones. Right. And we so, don't know anybody who's used the black ones. And this was four for 15, um, and they're like decent, like here's my hand, here's the beauty blenders. Um, they're decent size, so I felt like that was a good deal. And, and you get a variety. So, like, we're gonna try it. <laughs> I'm going to try my new primer that I just got. I haven't fully decided how I feel about it. I've only worn this twice, but um, so far I'm liking it. Uh, it's a five-in-one primer, uh, which 
multiple in one things usually kind of like weird me out. Like, you know, like three in one shampoo, like. Three? Yeah, like shampoo. I don't know what three, I don't know. But they they exist, it says three in one. I don't read those bottles, they scare me. What shampoo, conditioner, and. I don't know. What? <laughs> um, if you guys want to see it real quick, it's got like these little beads of like green and purple in it to help like even skin tone and stuff like that. And for the most part, yeah, I've noticed that kind of does help like suppress redness because I have like a very peachy rosy face mm -hmm. um, in addition to having yellow undertones. So if I can have like just the yellow undertones, <laughs> that'd be great. Well, that dried down really quickly. Yeah, it goes, it like soaks into the skin like really nicely. It's slightly tacky. Yeah. So it makes like the um, foundation stick pretty well. I, of course, I'm gonna be using the, brand, the, the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation that I just picked up. I'm excited for this box. I'm using your favorite. I don't like it. I just don't. I know. It's, um, we've had it before. Have we had it before on the channel? Yeah. Or was that on the... Yes, one time. Okay. That was with the... When we did the, um... The Atlantis. The Atlantis palette review. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm using NYX Total Control because I feel like I have to use it before it goes bad. Um... Because I do not wear liquid foundation very much in my, in my life. Is it gonna come out? Oh, there we go. She's got to That work. took forever. I gotta work up some pressure. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh no. So this is what one pump looks like. It's like, not a lot of coverage. So we're gonna add another pump. Isn't that their whole thing with that foundation is like one it's pump and you're done? It's supposed to be like super high coverage. Yeah. And I'm like, I am not getting that from this. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not getting that vibe right now. What's the return policy? <laughs> you can return anything to Polka. Oh yeah? Yeah. Like just because you don't like something. Huh. That's definitely something you can do. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Alright, I don't I don't hate this. Now that I've gotten a second layer, a second like um pump on. I don't hate it. I that do not good. hate it. Two pumps and I was good. I was a little bit worried because like the first pump was very, very sheer. Yeah. But it 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 built up like really nicely. Look with the second pump. That first pump was super sheer. But this one, this isn't this is not bad. It dries very quickly. My forehead is creasing a little bit, but that always happens, so I might have to set my forehead. Okay. I don't know. You know, it's funny that way because like on camera, my face looks a little bit lighter than my than the rest of my skin, but in person, this is like a dead match. Yeah, it looks like it's... it's like a dead match, but like yours is a little bit darker, and but on camera, it looks like a perfect match. It's a little funny how that worked out. Yeah. All right, for concealer, I'm gonna be going in with the, Revo the Makeup Revolution, obviously the one that I just bought. This is in the lightest shade that they have. Oh, my foundation. What well, well, the shade number for that is 1.5. So 0.5 is the lightest shade. So this is two shades lighter than that, um, which is funny for me because I'm usually the lightest shade oh, in foundations. This comes with a super fat doe foot applicator like the um, Tarte uh, Shape Tape. Kind of seems like I've just applied it and it kind of seems like it's already starting to dry a little bit. Oh wow. That's not good. It kind of seems like it thinned out the Urban Decay a little bit. Oh, like they don't play well together? No, no, no. It kind of seems like this is like more liquidy. Mm. I don't know. That's kind of weird. I've never had a concealer where I felt like I would look less coveraged under the eyes. The Urban Decay really set very nicely. Um, and you guys know that I am a full face of powder bitch. <laughs> but that's set really quite nicely on its own. I love the e.l.f. Setting, setting powder because it has like little fine reflex of glitter in it. I just love putting it right underneath of the eyes. So pretty. I'm just doing it all over my face. Next I'm going to be going in for contour. Oh. 
One of these days I feel like I should actually use this like a contour palette and not just like a <laughs> Right? I mean, do what works for you and makes you feel good. Makeup is all about how it does, how, how it makes you feel. So it's like, you know, if you... What a girl! <laughs> if you, um, you know, if you like the way it looks, the way you apply it, then fuck it, apply it that way, bitch. It don't fucking matter what no makeup artist, beauty guru, makeup owner, bitch has to say about it. You know, some hoe on the internet. If the way you apply your makeup looks good for you and makes you feel good, bitch, do it. I love this. I think NYX's packaging is just so clean. It is. Like, it just makes you excited to use the makeup that you're about to use. I know, I really love it. Ooh, look at these highlighting powders. I'm gonna go on with this one real quick. This very, very, like, I'm gonna go on. You can see the this one right here is a really nice like highlighting shade for me, I think. Like right under the eyes. Oh yes, love that. I'm gonna take a little bit of this yellow shade a little bit and just kind of buff that in as well. First I'm gonna go in with this kind of like warm brown shade right here, kind of to use as like a bronzer, I guess. I don't really own bronzers and I don't really use bronzers, but that kind of looks like a bronzer shade to me. So. Oh yeah, I really like nice. that. Yeah. <coughs> Cute. It's actually really funny. I have not contoured like that in years. Yeah. Well, it was like really big. It was like a really big trend a long time ago. A long time ago, and I was like, okay, I'll try this, and it's just like it fell away because I just felt like it's a lot of work. <laughs> That's a lot of work <laughs> for my everyday life. I really like these colors. There's a lot of great colors, and they kind of blended out pretty nice. Oh, yeah. I need to blend out a little bit more. What's next? Eyeshadow. Oh, oh you don't do brows? Oh. Ooh, oh. yes. This is not a new Norvina palette. I keep it in the box because it's a velvet case and I'll fuck it up. Oh, yeah. It's October time. It's spooky time, bitches. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do like an orangey kind of look. You're gonna do a spooky spook? Yeah. A spooky spook. Just like that. Oh, yes, come on, orange. I feel like in all of, the, all of our videos together, I'm like, where's the mirror? <laughs> so I just picked up two NYX, new, two NYX eyeliners, and this is the retractable eyeliner, and this is the, that's the point. I've had a that's the point before. I just put the retractable auto liner on, and that just went on like, cream like it was butter like it, very nice and we're introducing some more Anastasia shadows with uh this little quad I have here okay all right so I think I officially like this now because it just covered up a black spot that got into my fucking face so I officially don't dislike the Urban Decay foundation because sometimes foundations just do not do it, you know? Yeah, when you have an oops. I love going into Ulta during Christmas time because it's always a bunch of dudes like milling around the store just looking just dazed and confused. <laughs> like not looking at anything particular, but they always have like two things, like one in each hand and they're just like... Which one do I get for my girlfriend? I don't know. I don't know. And I'm like, props for you for trying to do something that your partner likes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows in black today. Feeling extra. Mm hmm <laughs> I went a little too hard in the sauce. <laughs> that was really pretty. You really think so? I feel like it's a little extreme. Yeah, it just blended out. That's what I've been trying to do. <laughs> I actually remember that being like my first like mom like <laughs> makeup moments where I was in I was in a wedding and my mom was like you need to put on some blush. <laughs> I remember being like I don't like it. <laughs> no. That's very you. Yeah. I hate blush, mom. Ooh, you know what? I think I'm also gonna put a little more contour on because these are just so dramatic and dark. Like I feel like I I veil a lot actually. I do. Because it's like, I want it to be there, and I want it to be precisely the level that I want it to be. That's how I contour. 
Yeah. I always take my powder brush afterwards. And no, I am gonna be highlighting using the Too Faced Diamond Light. You know, it's the thing that I've actually realized recently that I like doing is I like taking a little bit of the highlighter and putting it right here on my brow bone. A lot of people do that. I do not. I think my face has so little real estate for like makeup looks, so I'm like, here's a place where I can put something and it not look weird, you know? Yeah. No, I mean like you do do whatever you want. Like I just don't do that. I don't, for some reason, don't like highlighting right underneath my brow. Um, I don't know why. I just don't. It's just a personal preference. Everybody has them. It's like one thing that I don't do. <laughs> so this is super adorable. Um, camera adjusting. Here it is. It's roller lash. I don't really know um, how this is going to open. Oh, it opens. But I think the pink is the top. The pink is the top. You are correct. Oh, it's got a curved wand. Huh. Here's the unicarton for hers, for the roller lash. Someone got a little excited. I, I did. Here is the unicarton for the Their Real Lash by Benefit. Both of these are by Benefit. So we have all three of the current uh, mascaras by Benefit out right now. We have the roller lash, Their Real, and Bang. There you go. So we have all three right here. Congratulations. Collected them all. Uh, it's so fat. Yeah, compared to the roller lash. Yeah, the roller lash one has a really pretty applicator. It's it's thin, but I like that it's making my eyelashes look super, um, oh jeez, um, feathery. That really did it. That really lengthened them and darkened them, like, so good. What the heck? Why is no one talking about this mascara? Is it new? Uh, I don't think it's any more new than the bang lash and the roller lash. I'm gonna be going in with Nancy. Lunatic, Lunatic or the lips. The lips. Um, so this is called, what is this? Uh, yeah, it is called, <laughs> I'm like, I need my glasses. Um, I already got my contacts in. Um, I love this because it's just glitter. Oh, so nice, love it. Oh, beach, I look sickening. Oh, yes. We got a new setting spray today, girl. So it is the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control. There we go. It's doing the thing. Okay, there we go. It is a sister companion to this Just one. Guy. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, but it's. Oh, why do they why do they keep saying oil control? Because it just says Profix. Because this is the this is the oil control one. Oh no, you must have just grabbed the regular one, the Profix. Huh? Huh? It was under the the oil. They have the same color bottle. Maybe we made an oops. Huh? Thought I grabbed the. Uh... No, that was me that grabbed it. Thought we grabbed the oil control one. We currently just grabbed the Profix. Profix. Whoops. They Whoops. were both white. So. Yeah, I was just looking for one that wasn't open. There we go. Oh yes, we love a good sister set. <laughs> it has a very nice finishing effect. Ooh, it feels it really feels good. That feels a little bit like, um, so these two kind of feel different. Um, this one feels like very like thick and heavy, like this one, very thick and heavy. Whereas this one's very like light. Like, cause this is the, uh, the support, this is the extra hold setting spray. The one that makes sure that like locks the makeup in like for the good good. And this one feels almost like I'm setting my face with hairspray. Oh really? This, that is how like thick it is. Huh. Um, whereas this one feels more like a normal setting spray. Ooh, yes beach. I feel extravagant, expensive. We switched to match the looks a little better. Yeah, this matches your look a lot better. Yeah. This look. Well, actually, this just matches you better. You think so? Yeah. Me? This is very you. You think so? I don't know. I think of the, I think of Grandma Carmen. It looks good with your earrings. These like big ass like Latin girl earrings with this like fur coat. I'm feeling. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling this. You're feeling your Latina vibes today. I am. Yeah. I went a little gothy. I think low key I wanted to wear the black fur. Yeah. Mm. You did. You always do. Um, grab that champagne, me. <laughs> to our beautiful, extravagant people 
makeup haul. Yes. I just feel like an expensive, beautiful white woman. We started this with furs and Starbucks and we're ending with furs and champagne. Just so you all aware, this is faux fur. None of it is real. Yeah, we're not. Oh, we're, we're not about not. that life. This is vegan fur. <laughs> this is vegan fur. It's not that kind of a household. Yeah. <laughs> like polyester or some shit. Yeah. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I put up a new video every Friday, and if I just happen to not do that, then it will go up on that following Monday. Please and thank you. Love you guys so much. And special shout out to every single person who is a patron for me on Patreon. Without you guys, I don't have any of the equipment that I have in front of me right now to make all these videos possible. You guys have paid for all of my equipment to make YouTube videos. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, Zoling! Clank.